All right, we've got linebacker and team captain Dylan Cole with us. Dylan, it's always great to talk with you. I love the mask. I love the hood. It's only the eyes, and you've got that killer look there. Tell me, how are things different this week? There's obviously got to be a different mood in the locker room with what has gone down change-wise, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, once again, we're all professionals, so we understand that this is a business, and so uh, today was no different. Uh, we came in, we had meetings, uh, we had practice, and um, just trying to get get ready for Jacksonville and uh, make sure that we can uh, get one win this week. That is the that is the goal. This is our this is our new uh, philosophy. Just win each week, win each day. Sure, going one to zero each week. That's a very important goal. Very viable goal. And tell me about Romeo Cornell. You've been with him a while. You've seen him in uh, various capacities as defensive coordinator, as a special associate head coach. How are things a little bit different with Romeo, if at all, now that he is head coach? Yeah, uh, Rack, he's, he's, like a, he's like the godfather. You know, he's just – he's always got uh, different things to say, you know, different sayings and uh, different ways to cope, and it, it, it's always nice to hear from him because uh, he just knows how to make everyone feel a lot better about any situation. And I think uh, that he's a he's a great guy to just uh, to have step up uh, into the head coach position. And um, he knows he knows like I said, he just knows what to say, uh, when to say it, and how to say it. And uh, I thought today went real well. Uh, first team meeting uh, with him and um, everything that he has to say, and then and then shifting that to practice. It just it felt, you know, like we didn't skip a beat and we just, we're just out there once again, going, uh, he, he was ready to roll with Jacksonville. Going one and zero as a team, that's the goal collectively, but as a defense, what do you guys need to change, shake up and improve this week and in the weeks to come, you think? Yeah, I think, uh, the big thing for us is that we just got to play a little looser. I think sometimes we are a little tight and sometimes, uh, we're too worried about being in the right gap and being in, and, and when I say that, I say that um, we know what gap we need to be in and, and things like that, but we got to get back to the fundamentals and um, being who we are. You know, um, some guys, I feel like some guys are playing tight. And um, like going back to your question, one thing that we need to stop is the run. And that all starts with the, for the front seven. And, um, you know, sometimes the corners when they, when they got to get their, their mask in there. But um, yeah, I think when we start, we stop the run. Uh, everything else works in for itself. It, uh, then the, the, the rush and coverage can start working together. But uh, it all starts up front and um, stopping the run. And I think that's one thing today that we uh, we definitely focused on today was uh, stopping the run day. And um, definitely thought we got better in that, that aspect. Yeah, and stopping the run against Jacksonville this Sunday, you do so with a back. And James Robinson, who maybe not a lot of people know too much about, but he's averaging darn near five yards a carry. So – It'll be a good challenge. What have you seen from the run game of Jacksonville in, in your short time looking at it? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the, the rookie back, Robinson, I think I think he's a good player. Uh, also, he's from Illinois State, NBC. Um, <laughs> played Illinois State in college. I know a lot of people try to give me crap about uh, going to a smaller college, but uh, – Doesn't matter. You know, There's players. as You're, you're that, clear, clear evidence, yeah. Us, us small college guys are starting to, starting to make a name for ourselves. But, yeah, he's a he's a good back. He's uh, He's got great vision. Um he definitely he's got uh, he's got some size on him where he can run through some tackles and uh, he's got some quickness so he's a he's a good all around back uh, can catch the ball out of the backfield so it's one of those one of those guys that we're going to key on this week but um, I think it goes back to just um, fundamentals uh, working on ourselves yes we're worried about Jacksonville but uh, right now there's some things that we got to clean up with within our uh, defense and just understand within ourselves uh, what we have to do um, going forward and. I think it just starts with us. Yes, we have to understand who they are and what they do, but uh, we gotta we got to make sure that we're keyed in on our fundamentals and what we do. As a leader, as a team captain, you lead by example, but have you found yourself talking a little bit more this week, given what's gone down? Yeah, I think it's more, more or less uh, important just to be encouraging. Um, positive vibes in the in – because, the, you know, there, there have been a lot of negative vibes – uh, the past couple of days, just with every, everything is going on. So I think it's important to keep a positive energy. And, uh, you know, a positive energy is always contagious. And uh, it started catching on. And I felt at practice that there was a lot of good good energy at practice and, and today. And uh, we just got to keep going through that through the week so we can bring that to Sunday. Yeah, and I got to imagine that positive energy that you're talking about is going to carry over to the fans on Sunday. What's it like 
having them back in the building. And I know you want all of them back, but that's just not going to be the case for a while. But still, it's got to be nice to hear some of them or see some of them like you did last Sunday. And you're probably going to see a few more of them this Sunday. Yeah, uh, fans are important when it comes to to the game. We we learned that uh, early into the season when we uh, came in and it was an empty stadium and we're uh, – well, one thing that's good without them is that you can hear uh, the call and understand what everybody has to say. But uh, it's great to have them, and especially on the defensive side, uh, when they get loud for us on third down. And uh, just to have that, once again, the energy, the positive energy. When we make plays, we can hear about it, other than uh, listening it from the, the same people that we hear over and over again. But when you pack that stadium, it gets a little louder. The, the energy gets a little bit more uh, more amped, and uh, that, that definitely carries – uh, through us. Last thing we heard from Justin Reed recently, and he talked about how because of these changes in stadiums and less fans, you can hear a lot and you do hear a lot more of uh, smack talk going on. Is that uh, something you agree with? And how much of a talker are you? Yeah, I'm a, I'm one of those. Uh, I think it would be funny for me to be mic'd up at some point. Um, I'm one of those. Uh, I don't know how I smack talk, but it, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty quirky, I guess. I'm more of like the, the jokester, the, uh, your shoes on tie type guy. Um, uh, watch out. You just, you're about to trip look or, you know, look up, act like the ball's coming and stuff like that. It, that's just who I am. I'm not really much of a smack talk. If you start, you see, if I hear it from you, then, uh, then I'm, I'm back. I'm, I'm more of a, a, a react guy rather than um, the guy that starts everything. Good to know. Good to know. All right, Dylan Cole. We really appreciate the time. We wish you the best of luck this Sunday and throughout the rest of the 2020 season. Take care, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Thank you, sir.